What do you do when your vocal recordings have issues with noise, room reflections, or little to no acoustic treatment? Well, I'm about to show you. My name is Reed Stefan, realest puppet in the game, and this is Antares Vocal Prep. It's an AI-powered vocal cleanup solution for pristine audio quality from less than ideal recording conditions. It's a standalone app that runs behind your DAW to quickly prep any vocals before mixing. Today I'm going to put this to the test with some vocal recordings that were made in a space that's definitely not an ideal vocal booth. This space actually has a huge open floor plan with high ceilings, long hallways, a kitchen area, and a living room all connected and less than half of the wall and ceiling surfaces are acoustically treated. So naturally, there's a lot of sound bouncing around this square footage. Plus the ongoing noise of air conditioning, ventilation, refrigeration, or even traffic outside, these recordings could definitely use some help. And Kara recently recorded some singing, rapping, and video content in this space, and I'm gonna use that audio as an opportunity to see if we can use AI to improve our sound quality. So let's jump right into the sauce. So here we are inside the new Vocal Prep by Antares. As you can see, this app is extremely simple and it runs without any DAW open. Again, it's not a plugin, it's a standalone app. They support WAV, MP3, and pretty much every popular audio file format. The only thing you wanna be certain of is that there's no effects already printed in your audio file. You want it to be the source raw audio file if possible. Things like reverb plugins and delay plugins will kind of interfere with the analysis. And let's see, let's start with the rapping vocals. These are recordings that we made in Kara's recent YouTube session on how to produce a rap song from scratch. And if you wanna check that out, I'll link that in the description below. It's about 30 to 40 seconds of recording, and it took about 10 seconds to clean the audio. So here we are inside of our vocal prepped audio. As I listen, I'm gonna switch between the original audio, the vocal prepped audio, and the delta, which is what the app chose to remove. Let's start out with the original. I'm getting hunnets, I'm getting bags, my business running. My haters mad. I'm spending big label money with no big label. So as you could hear, I got that boss bitch. Sounds bouncing off the ceiling, bouncing field. from the hallways. Definitely not clean. I'm getting bags, bags. I'm Let's getting go hunnets. I'm getting bags, bags. I'm getting hunnets. I'm getting bags, bags. I'm getting hunnets, hunnets, hunnets. Ooh, that's already sounding better. Bags, 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 bags. Let's play it again. I'm getting hunnets. This is with. I'm getting bags. My business running. My haters mad. And without. I'm spending big label money with no big label deals. I got that boss oh, wow. bitch energy on top of my field. I'm getting Preps. hunnets. I'm getting bags. Bags. I'm getting hunnets. I'm getting bags. Bags. I'm getting. Let's listen to what it removed. This is all the reverb and gunk between the words that we don't want in there. At first, I didn't hear a lot getting removed, but then when I switched back to the original, I was like, whoa, wait a second, where did all that reverb come from? Yeah, all that reverb was in my original recording. So it's a pretty stark difference, and I think having it soloed is the best way to hear it at first. Obviously, it's not going to remove all the problematic reverb and all the problematic noise, but it certainly does take it from the forefront of your attention and push it into the background more where it belongs. And I hear the noise floor reducing quite a bit as well. I like the way this sounds. Let's export our prepped audio and we'll just keep this name right here in the same location. And when we're done, we're gonna drag the rap and the singing back into our session and see if it made a nice difference. Let's start over and let's do our singing as well. We'll go singing. This clip's about the same length. So it took about the same amount of time, really not too bad. I'm on my M1 Max MacBook Pro right now. It does run slightly faster on my M4 Max laptop, but not night and day difference like a DAW session. Let's listen to the singing. Let's start with the original. I know you're looking from afar. You need another hobby. Prepped. But you can't help it, I'm a star. And never but a talking. Removed. Prepped. Original. go get a no better than me. I did it. I'm winning. I'm getting money. Really impressive. Not completely gone again. You could still tell that there was some imperfections in there. But what I think is really impressive is it didn't turn your audio into a garbled MP3 vibe. I find a lot of these AI 
noise removing and vocal fixing plugins, while they do take something away, you're left with something that just doesn't feel like a WAV file anymore. And this still feels like a raw, clean, dry WAV file. So let's export this singing, keep the name, keep the location. And now let's check this out on some speech. I help film all the videos for Kara's channel. And we recently did a video where she's showing you the best choices to set up your studio for a $3,000 budget. And she's not standing super close to the microphone. The noise, reverb, and all the stuff that you don't want in your recordings is going to be even more prevalent in this situation. And I'm curious to see how vocal prep can handle it. My name's Kara, and welcome to my home studio. Today, I'm showing you the best home studio setup on a $3,000 budget. As you can if hear, it's a little echoey. If you've been following me for a while, then you've probably surpassed the beginner stage in your production journey. And so I thought it would be cool to show you guys my favorite picks for when you're ready to level up. You can even hear the refrigerator running in the background, the air conditioning noise. I've already exported the speech as a WAV file. You can't drop in a video file yet, but who knows, maybe that'll come with a future update. And this is about 45 seconds of audio, so maybe it'll take a little bit longer than the singing did. Let's take a listen to the prepped audio first. My name's Kara, and welcome to my home studio. Today, I'm showing you the best home studio setup on a $3,000 budget. An original. If you've been following me for a while, Holy then you've cow. probably surpassed the beginner stage in your production journey. Prepped. And so I thought it would be cool to show you guys my favorite- Air conditioning noise, gone. Refrigeration noise, gone. Now, some of you guys might original. be more focused on the production end or just the vocal end. So all of my recommendations Prepped. cover all the bases. Just like my last upload Roof. where I covered a Okay, now this is doing way more. This is all that air conditioning noise and room reverb getting completely swept away. The app detected that there was a lot more unwanted noise and reverb to remove in this recording than the other two, and you can see it's doing significantly more reduction. And that's part of the overall intelligence of vocal prep, where it can automatically detect how much of the effect needs to be applied. Let's go ahead and export this prepped audio, and we're gonna bring it into our video editing app called DaVinci Resolve to see the finished results. But first, I wanna hear the rap and singing vocals in the finished Ableton session. The files that we ran through vocal prep are this stem, and the stem. So let's go ahead and replace these with the vocal prepped version. We got Kara rap and Kara singing. I'm getting hunnets. I'm getting bags. My business running. My haters mad. An I'm original. And big label money with no big label deals. I got that boss bitch energy on top of my field. I'm prepped. getting hunnets. I'm getting bags. Bags. I'm getting hunnets. I'm getting bags, bags, I'm Original. getting hunnets. I'm getting bags, bags, I'm getting hunnets, hunnets, hunnets. Bags, 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 bags. And let's hear the vocal prepped one in the mix. Bags, my business money, my haters mad. I'm spending big label money with no big label deals. I got that boss bitch energy on top of my field. I'm getting. Let's take a listen to the singing. Prepped. From before, Let's you need another hobby, but you can't help it. I'm a star, and never but it's talking. And before, they're talking about the way you move, yeah, move, yeah. Copying like how the shit do it, do Prepped. it. Trying to set a go, get a no better than me. Now that's quite a bit cleaner. I don't hear that underlying noise and rumbling that was happening while she was recording after it's been through vocal prep, which is a huge lifesaver. Let's hear it in the mix. Bags, 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 bags. I know you're looking from afar. You need another hobby, but you can't help it. I'm Finally, I want to swap out our old raw audio for our new vocal prepped audio to hear the finished result synced up with the video. Let's pull in care speech prepped, drop it in. Just make sure it's lined up, make sure it's gain matched, and let's take a listen to the difference. My name's Kara, and welcome to my home studio. This is Prepped. Today, I'm showing you the best home studio setup on a $3,000 budget. 
If you've been following me for a while, then you've probably surpassed the beginner stage in your production journey. And the raw vocals. And so I thought it would be cool to show you guys my favorite picks for when you're ready to level up. Huge difference. Now, some of you guys might be more focused on the production end. And prepped. Or just the vocal end. So all of my recommendations cover all the bases. Just like my last upload where I covered a $1,000 budget, I'm going to be putting the vocals. new market price on this side and the used price on this side. And as the video progresses, I think you guys are going to be really and surprised at how much money you can actually save by buying used gear. Now that's a huge improvement in sound quality for content creation. Definitely a massive improvement that makes applying compression, de-essing and limiting and all the things that you would normally mix vocals with way more easy. So there you have it. My first look at the brand new app, Vocal Prep by Antares. Whether you're doing vocal production for music or recording dialogue for video content, this is a great tool to save you time and frustration cleaning up your vocal recordings when you're in noisy or less than ideal conditions. Do I think this is the absolute end of needing acoustic treatment and careful editing? No, of course not. Getting a perfect sound from the source is always the optimal situation, but as many of you know, lots of music gets recorded in less than optimal situations, so tools like this can really come in handy and are worth the cost. A perpetual license for Antares Vocal Prep costs just $125, or if you subscribe to the Antares Autotune Unlimited plan, it's now included with your subscription. That's pretty tight. So if you want to learn more about Antares Vocal Prep or check out any of my other vocal production videos, I'll include links in the description below and catch you guys next time in another video.